Web application testing can be a cumbersome job. Due to the amount of frameworks and different libraries that are used by web developers, it becomes impossible for testers to know different vulnerabilities that might exist. While we might know some big ones, or new and popular ones, we have to be comprehensive during testing. This is where we can use Nikto. Created by Chris Solo in 2001, Nikto is one of the older web application security scanners. While it's old, it still gets updated regularly. The last update was in late 2023. Nikto allows us to scan over 6700 potentially dangerous files and programs. It can perform security checks, including detecting insecure HTTP methods, default files, and various web application vulnerabilities like SQL injection and cross-site scripting. While it's not able to find all issues in web applications, it will pick up most common ones. Because of this, it's a standard tool in the arsenal of any penetration tester. In this video, we will cover basic and advanced use of Nikto. We will look at some common errors that are often made when using Nikto and how to avoid them. Nikto comes installed by default in Kali Linux, but it can be found in most Linux repositories. Running Nikto in its basic form is very easy. Before we get started, we must insist that you behave ethically. To learn what you can and can't do while practicing cybersecurity, we refer you to the ethics video we have made. You can click on the card in the top right of this video to learn more about ethics and cybersecurity. To run Nikto, we need to supply the port and the hostname or IP address of the web server. We can supply these values in several ways. The first thing we need to give to Nikto is the host. This can be done with the host flag. By default, Nikto runs on port 80. But if you supply a HTTPS address to the host flag, it will automatically switch to port 443. When we want to run Nikto on a non-standard port, we have two different methods. We can either append a colon to the host followed by the port, or we can use the port flag. This will run Nikto in its most simple form. It will display the output of any issues that Nikto has found. To do more with this output, we can save it with the output flag followed by a file name. Nikto is able to save the output in several formats, HTML, JSON, XML, CSV, text, SQL and MBE. MBE is a Nessus file format that allows us to import Nikto results directly into the Nessus vulnerability scanner. To select the output file type, we can either append a file extension or we can use the format flag followed by one of the supported file types. Let's save this output as HTML. The max time flag is one of the flags that is very important to use with Nikto. Without it, Nikto can take several hours to complete. This is due to folders, files and firewalls that might be on the web server. To use the timeout flag, we can use max time followed by time. This time can be given in seconds, minutes or hours. We can do this with either a number or a number followed by a letter. M for minutes, H for hours. Now that we added all the flags that we want to add, we can start a scan. Be aware that Nikto is not stealthy and very noisy on the network. To reduce the chance to be blocked by our client's firewall, we can use the evasion flag. The evasion flag gives us 10 different options. Random URI encoding, directory self-reference, premature URL ending, prepend along random strings, fake parameters, tab as spacers, change the case of URL, a window style directory separator, carriage return as a spacer, or binary value as a spacer.
This is just the tip of the iceberg when it comes down to Nikto settings. With the help flag, we can see the different options that we can change with Nikto. We suggest you try these flags in a test environment to see exactly what they do and what different kinds of results you can get. We have shown that Nikto is a powerful ally in securing web applications and improving the security of your clients. If you learned anything, please tell us what you've learned in the comments, like the video and subscribe for more cybersecurity content. Hack ethically and thank you for watching.